So I made a little bit more progress on my vertical stabilization system. Um, this is kind of where I am now. This is the innards to the system, and this would slide inside a, a, a piece of airframe. And I'm working on the airframe section over here. And, and uh, obviously you take off the canards to slide it into the airframe and then put the canards back on uh, at that point. So what I've got here is uh, this lower sections for the battery. And then I've got the uh, Raven board here, which is designed to allow me to uh, turn the, uh, the stabilization system on or off, depending on uh, flight events that are going on that are uh, programmed into the Raven. And then uh, over here, I've got some switches. The top one is just uh, the overall system power. And then the lower one uh, allows me to bypass the Raven so that I can activate the servos for testing without having to actually trigger the, ra the uh, Raven. And then uh, over on this side is the, uh, the Guardian stabilization unit, which is uh, uh, it knows what level is and it's what controls the process. And then I've got the servo and, uh, and uh, canards up here. And then all of the servo wires go up to the top so that I can have them uh, access them from the outside of the tube if I need to, to do the, the programming of the servos. The digital servos are what makes this really quite easy to do. Uh, basically, you just set the uh, uh, turn the thing on with the Guardian level, and the, it'll it'll send out a signal of what it thinks level is, and then by programming the servos, you can program the the uh, center point to give you the the vertical canards or what the the Guardian thinks is level, and then you can program the endpoints, and then you can program the the uh, fail safe point so that the canards will return back to vertical when the system's turned off. So uh, that's basically the, the way the thing is set up and where I am at the moment. And I can just uh, do a quick test of it. Just what I'm going to do here is basically uh, turn, the, turn the system on as though it was on the launch pad. And the, the Raven would be off at this point. So let's pretend that we launched the rocket and that after the boost, um, it was at an angle like that, for example. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and activate the system. Uh, and it should go ahead then and try to bring the, uh, uh, you know, turn the canards to try to bring the rocket back to vertical. So you can see that it, it uh, is now trying to bring back to vertical. And if I decided I wanted to shut the system off, let's say for a sustainer motor burn, I could do that. And the servos would default back to the fail safe position, just vertical. And then after the that motor burn was done, I could turn the system back on and once again institute guidance so i don't know exactly how i'll do it but i'll do have the, the the flexibility to try to do those things so you can see that uh you know right now i've got it set up i, do, I don't have it set up so that the fins go entirely back to vertical uh, i i could do that by changing the the uh, set points or the endpoints on the uh, servos so i could have it be you know, have the canards always stay vertical, or I could reduce those endpoints, which effectively changes the gain of the system. So that's where I am now. Now I try, need to try to get that uh, uh, container tube done and then figure out how to line up all the holes on the servos and switches and so forth on the piece of airframe. And that's, that's going to be fun. Anyway, that's where I am.